Olympic gold medalist Archer Simon Fairweather and water polo captain Peter Montgomery were recognised for their sporting success. Veteran cricketer Shane Warne was pleased to be remembered for his positive contribution to the game. It makes you feel very proud and it's something, you know, Simone and my family and everyone has stuck by me through a long period of time when you're away and the sacrifice you have to make for your country to play. Former national captains, netball's Liz Ellis and the Wallabies' George Gregan, along with AFL legend Kevin Sheedy, also made the list. You gave me all the dreams that I could ever have had, all of you champions here. They were joined by former Chicago Bulls player Luke Longley and motorcyclist Mick Doohan. I've left, uh, left some fingers on racetracks and a few other things, but uh, all in all I'm pretty good and I uh, wouldn't change any of it. Olympic gold medalist pole vaulter Steve Hooker became the first sportsperson to win the Don Award two years in a row. Existing Hall of Fame members, tennis great Ken Rosewell and the first Olympic gold medalist Edwin Flack were elevated to legend status. In Sydney, the Masters Games have been launched with politicians and athletes lighting the official cauldron. Australian competitors, 101-year-old lawn bowler Reg Truin and 99-year-old swimmer Margot Bates helped open the event. Three, two... One. Oh. The games will run from tomorrow until the 18th of October. Siobhan Hegarty, QUT News.